Okay, how y'all doing? Um, it dawned on me when I made the last video that I didn't really explain this part, so I wanted to just take a second to uh, explain um, how I hooked up the inverter slash uh, generator. Uh, so the good thing about this system is, remember when I said I wanted to replace my Blue Eddy to get something that's more versatile and something that I can uh, skill up. I love my Blue Eddy, so I got my Blue Eddy in my van. And until the prices come down, so I'm going to go with this uh, modular setup. So, I started off with two 12-volt, 200-amp uh, batteries. And for those that don't know, um, what you do to find out the watts hours is you just multiply the voltage times the amp hours. Okay? Uh, with these 12 volts, uh, what I did was wire them in series. When you wire them in series, you multiply the voltage. So 12 volts times 2 is 24 volts. Okay? So, 24 volts times 200 amp hours uh the math is a little funny because it's actually a little bit over 12 volts so that equals uh five uh, thousand watts that's that's how i came up with the video the five kilowatt system now if we can zoom in uh let me show i have the negative it's tied in series to the positive so there's the negative going to the positive that way i can double the voltage and then i have this positive um going up to the positive side underneath here these are six gauge wires then I have this negative going to the negative okay so once I had these positive and negatives I had those hooked up to the bottom of the um, the inverter so then in the previous video you see me uh, tying in this junction what I so under here is AC out so you got the uh, white for neutral, the green for ground, and then you have the black as the uh, fire, okay? So I tied this in using this conduit that I got from Home Depot for about $5. So I used this conduit to go to this outlet because I know I needed some uh, outlets, okay? Uh, in this outlets, I have one of these power strips going to all of my uh, accessories. So that's my um, the game systems, and it's going to uh, most of the internet. I have a second outlet, uh, just in case I need to uh, plug up uh, any extra materials. Um, so that's anything that I need to uh, hook up like around the house. So let's say the power goes out and I need to charge some extra things. I have that outlet available. Uh, it's a power strip available, so that comes with about five uh, outlets and then uh, like I said this one is already taken this here is the printer I can actually hook this up to the rest of the um, outlets but just this cord is kind of short so I, I hook this up to the printer um, and then this last cord this big orange cord this cord is actually over a hundred feet the good thing about AC it travels very long so I have this going all the way through the back of my house, hooked into my garage, and it's powering our extra fridge. Uh, we're Midwest people, so we keep extra food around. Uh, so our uh, fridge, we have our, um, you know, the uh, like frozen products if we got to buy things in bulk, um, and, uh, and actually just like drinks and stuff when we outside. If you notice at the bottom here, this cord is in waiting. This cord is going to my kitchen. So if the power goes out, uh, I can just easily uh, pull this printer because I'm obviously not trying to print something if the power goes out. So i uh, pull this uh, printer. <laughs> I can plug in the, um, the fridge uh, to that outlet. That's running through the back of the laundry room going to the, uh, to the kitchen. Now, so that's the AC going out to here. To recap, I have the battery cords going into the input. Now let's talk about the... Uh, input from the solar here on my other videos and I show you the thousand watts of solar they're actually going through these wires this is only 10 gauge according to the paperwork the 10 gauges uh, can handle uh, a thousand watts of power so I'm not worried about that uh, in combination uh, they're still less than 180 amps uh, so uh, that should be fine in there and I'm nowhere near that uh, I think I'm about it was eight times four is 32 amps and as far as the AC going in, as you see, it's going now. It's been raining forever. We're going through a rainy season right now. Uh, so 
the AC just actually kicked in because we've been using a lot of power. Uh, so that's this black cord here. Uh, so I got the AC coming from the wall. Right now it's pulling. It's, wow, it's pulling a lot. It's actually pulling 973 watts uh, coming into the inverter. Now, the blessing with this. Once this voltage gets down to a certain level in the batteries, like right now, it switched automatically over to the AC. So I have AC coming in, and the AC is actually, if you can zoom in here, the AC is actually powering up my load here. Okay, so the AC is powering up my load, so it's powering up my TV that's on right now, and uh, the refrigerator that's out in the garage and all that. So that's coming through the AC here. Also, it's powering up my batteries to give my batteries a good charge. So even in the middle of the night, even though my battery uh, voltage is low right now, let's say a storm comes later on tonight and it knocks out the power, then it will go straight uh, through the batteries. So I got the uh, voltage set a little uh, high so that I got the voltage switch over set high so that uh, I can always switch over to AC and still retain some voltage in the batteries as a, a backup. Okay, if you look through the menu here, I'll kind of give you an idea. It's set for uh, this is solar first. So first I got power coming from the solar, then going through the battery, and then uh, if those two things fail, then it resort to utility power. So right now there's no solar. Uh, it's about ten o'clock uh, at night. Uh, the batteries um, are drained to that point where I'm ready to switch over. Um, so it switched to the last resort, which is the utilities. All right. So to recap, I got the AC going in, charging. I have the solar going in, charging. Then I have AC going out, and that's going to a little junction box here. Okay. And then I have uh, the uh, batteries uh, going in as well okay and of course the batteries was working both ways so because it's charging or it uh it powers through the inverter uh to create power uh, for the outlets very good system um uh, much cheaper so you're talking um uh can't remember the exact numbers but it was less than three thousand for this uh to compare it, you have those uh, those portable generators, those all-in-one machines, which are much neater. They they definitely look better, but those all-in-one machines can run you five to seven to ten thousand uh, dollars, especially for a five kilowatt system. That's gonna easily go for uh, probably about six thousand uh, dollars. So um, saving quite a bit of money uh, doing it this way, and we have uh, a backup solution for our home. All right, thank you.